if you send email newsletters or if you have an email list, um, this segment is for you. If you don't have an email list, you can skip this one for now. Uh, but this might be interesting for you anyway for the future. Um, someone asked me or someone mentioned that, you know, when it comes to writing their email newsletter, they it's kind of onerous for them. Um, they feel like it's not as light as making a social media post or something like they make a quite a big deal out of it. And I thought that was interesting. And I appreciated that um, question because I've heard this from multiple clients over the years. And I guess I take for granted the fact that my email newsletter is so light to create and send. It literally takes me 10 minutes a week to send my email, to write and send my email newsletter. And you know why that is? Because I'm not writing anything new. I am simply copy paste from what I've already written recently on social media, or I have a link to a video. And I just take the description, the title of the video as is, you know, and, and maybe I wrote, when I upload the video, I probably wrote a few lines of description and I'll take those few lines and put it. And in fact, I'll just quickly show you, um, I think hopefully everybody here already uh, is subscribed to my monthly newsletter, but if not, let me just show you an example of what I mean by this. So um, notice my, uh, okay, by the way, you might say, how come this is LinkedIn? Well, this is literally the exact same thing as what I send out uh, on my on my monthly newsletter. Literally, this is the subject line of my newsletter, and then this is this is the exact thing that people see in the newsletter. So it's the title of the post, just a few lines from the post itself. A few lines. If you go to the post itself, which I'll show you just to um, just to prove the point, I basically took these lines. I think, I think I took these lines. Oh, I, I think I, I think I took another paragraph further down, but it's basically the same, the same thing, you know, from the thing. And then I have read the post or watch video on, on Facebook, because I basically do both for the same topic. And then, um, look, I don't even have anything other than title. So if you go to the carousel post on, 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 uh, uh, it's just this, that's it. And then of course they, they can read the whole thing, but in my newsletter, um, in my newsletter, I just have the title. That's it. And then um, and then uh, the video, the title of the video. And let me just see here. Um, that's it. The most important thing. And then and then this is the part of the, the title. Part of the title. And that's it. And then I oh, and I usually sell something, but I didn't for some reason I didn't have something to sell in January when I was sending out this newsletter. But if you see my other ones. I usually sell something at the bottom. Oh, yes, for example, this one. And then the sellings, again, you can see these exact same format. December was the same format. You're my best post. Okay. The basically the um the snippets from the from the article itself. Um, just the title of the carousel post, and then just the title of the video itself on YouTube. And then what I'm selling right now. Okay, I'm selling this. I just have a line, more info. Boom, and that's it. And I want to tell you, my email newsletter has a 50% open rate with 5,000 people. 5,000 subscribers, actually 5,300, whatever. But 50, I just sent one for February and it was 51% open rate. So I just want to say, I mean, the reason why I'm emphasizing this is for those who don't know the typical open rate for an email newsletter, it's typically in my industry, uh, Marketing. You can you can Google typical email open rates or email open rates benchmarks, and you'll find it for different industries. But generally, for all industries, it's generally between twenty to twenty seven percent is average open rates. Meaning, people send out an email newsletter to hundred people, twenty to twenty seven people open it. They send it out to a thousand people, two hundred to two hundred seventy open it. I'm getting fifty percent open rates. And also, generally speaking, if you have like 50 people or 100 people on your email uh, list, you get quite high open rates. You get 50% open rates with, or 60% with like only 100 people on your email list. When you get to into the thousands, that's when it becomes 20 to 25%. And yet I have 5,000 and I have 50%. So what that means is people 
look forward to opening my email newsletters. And I'll, I'll tell you why I think that's the case. Because it's light. It's, it's not only light for me to create. It's light for them to open. When they open it, they don't feel overwhelmed by paragraph after paragraph of, oh, here's what's happening with me. Here, you know, they they open it and they 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 know, they trust that it's just a few lines. Like I said, it's just a few lines. So they it's it's calming. It has a calming effect. It's like, ah, it's just a few things. I can decide whether to click on it or not. My click rates are all are um, above industry average. My click rate is about five to eight percent. And the industry average click rates are about two to three percent. So my click rate is three times the industry average. My open rate is twice. So all I'm saying, not to not to brag, what I'm saying is what I'm doing is working. And why don't you do the same thing and stop making it so hard on you? Don't stop writing love letters to your subscribers. I see people have email newsletters called love letters. I'm like, no, the only person who should be writing me a love letter is my wife. You know, um, the, the, no one else should write me a love letter. Right? It's not appropriate. I know, I know. It's, people, people are trying to be playful about it, but, um, but I'll, I'm making fun of it just to say, don't make it a big deal to write your email newsletters. Just, just give us a few paragraphs or a, a one line or two lines from what you've already written sometime in the past, and then give us a link. Because the reason why, like, like again, I'll, once again, I will show you. The reason why I, I, I have such a short thing and I give people links is, guess what? I want them to engage with those social media posts. And notice how I'm so clever to actually give links to each of my social media platforms, right? I post on all four of these. So I'm going to give you a LinkedIn link, a Facebook link, Instagram link, YouTube link. And this is one way I regularly grow it kind of supports each other, right? Like people who follow me on social media might decide to go to my email newsletter and subscribe. And people who are reading my email newsletter, a lot of them don't really, they don't really, oh, I'm not following George on Insta or YouTube or whatever. And so it kind of like has a nice um, synergy to it. So I hope this is helpful. Make your email newsletters light to create and light to uh, light to receive and to open. And follow my formula. Just follow my formula because it's been working for, I've been using this email uh, newsletter formula since, I'm going to say at least 2017, if not 2015. I, it's one of those two years I started doing this. So it's been a long time. It's been years. And I have kept the, and when I say formula, I don't like formulas, to be honest with you. But for whatever reason, this is working. So try it out and like I said, with all, I, I don't like formulas because they're not necessarily authentic. So take what I've just given you and see how you can use your own voice into this, bring your own style to it. Notice I have no images on my email newsletter. So that saves me a ton of time in not having to find an image, upload them, whatever. Okay. If it really is genuinely uplifting and fun for you and not too much time, to find and, and put an image, great, go 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 for it. Because of course, images do uplift and create beauty and art. And But if it takes you time, just look at how I do it, the most minimalistic and one of the highest open rates in my industry. So I hope this works and I hope this is encouraging for you.